In this video, we're going to be talking about how to program a secure RAM touch smart lock by Secure RAM. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith, and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. So in the last video on the Secure RAM Touch, I showed you how to install it, and I installed this on a door in my house. For the purpose of showing you how to program it, I've taken it off the door and put it here so that I can easily demo the programming and get some nice video of it for you. Um, programming this is actually very, very intuitive because it is all voice controlled. Once it's installed on your door, you've got the default code of one, two, three, four, five, six, and now you wanna go in and change that. That default code is the admin code. The first code in your system on this is always the admin code. That is an owner code, and that's what we're gonna go in and change first. To start, you just basically hit the tool menu. Add user press two, delete user press three, set voice press six, pair phone press eight, so it couldn't be any easier than that. It is actually telling you exactly what you need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and add a user at this point. Add user, enter code. Now when it asks you for the code there, it is asking you for the admin code. Default admin code. Verified successfully. Enroll the administrator first. It wants you to do the administrator first so that you pull the default code out. So let's do that. That's the first finger. Place second finger. Lift finger. Place finger. Lift finger. Place finger. Finger enrolled successfully. Enter new code, then press check. Repeat new code, then press check. Operation successful. Owner. Added okay. successfully. Okay, so here I've just changed the admin code. I've enrolled two fingerprints for myself and a new code for myself to lock and unlock the door. I'm in. When I go outside, I can lock this door by just pressing any button and it'll lock the door behind me. Let's try one of the fingerprints. Again, I'm in, lock the door behind me. Locked. Let's try another hand, see if it'll take a fingerprint that's not programmed in the lock. Failed to verify. So it looks like it's doing a pretty good job on the fingerprint recognition. It's not recognizing anything uh, that I didn't have programmed in there. I've only got 10 fingers, so I can only try eight possible false positives. Now, when you're setting users into this lock, they can, codes can be anywhere from four to eight digits. And this one actually has a really cool security feature and it carries over from their safe lock product. And if you set a code, for example, I set the admin code 654321, I can put in any nine digits, so long as I put in 654321 anywhere within those digits. And so what you're doing there is you're actually camouflaging your code. So if somebody's looking over your shoulder, you could put in nine digits real fast and they'll be like, whoa, you know, that's a long code. But really you're only remembering the numbers that you put in, the four to eight digit code that you put in. Let's add another very simple code to this system. Add user, press two. Add user. Please log in as administrator. Enter code. Verified successfully. To add owner, place your finger on the reader. To add visitor, press zero button. Visitor, place first finger. I'm gonna skip the enrollment of fingers by pressing the gear icon. Enter new code, then press check. Repeat new code, then press check. Operation successful, visitor. So when, successfully. So when programming this lock, that's an important feature. You don't have to enroll everybody with a fingerprint. So if you're enrolling people that aren't present when you're giving them a code, you don't have to put a fingerprint in for them. And you just skip that fingerprint by hitting that gear icon. So that's important. So now I have a new code in this lock. Let's lock it. Locked. Four, three, six, nine. Quick four digit code. Now say I've got somebody looking over my shoulder and I want to get in. Locked. 
I hit a bunch of numbers there randomly. Nobody's gonna be able to follow that, but that 4369 was in that sequence, so I gained access to the lock. Cool feature. I mentioned earlier that you can lock out guests on this. So I did set a guest when I programmed that code sequence. You saw me set a guest code. So if I lock that, I'm inside the home. I no longer wanna use that. I make that little switch to red. Now that visitor can no longer get in because who's ever in the house, whatever owner is in the house, has restricted them from gaining access. Another cool little feature of this lock that I really like. Switch it back. Visitors allowed. Visitor can gain access. So the only thing I haven't really covered now on adding a user, we did the fingerprint enrollment, uh, we did the uh, random code sequence that you can do, that security feature, but now I want to delete a user. And this is where the manual portion of this lock, eh, not so good. Add user press two, delete user press three, delete user, please log in as administrator. Enter code. Verified successfully. Press one for owners, zero for visitors. Would you like to delete all visitors? Press check to confirm. Deleting, please do not disconnect the power. Visitor, delete it successfully. Now, did you hear what it did there? So I have owner codes and I have visitor codes. We talked about that. When I delete codes, I only have the option to delete all owners and to delete all visitors. I cannot delete a single code from the electronic lock itself. I'll get that capability with the app and that's what we're gonna talk about next. But with the standalone electronic product, if I wanna pull somebody out, I gotta pull everybody out and then add the people I want back in. So that's one small drawback I found with the standalone product itself. So overview of the standalone product, sort of just to cover and highlights, it is very heavy lock, it's very robust. I like it a lot, I like the capabilities, I like the features, I like how easy it is to install. Uh, I'm not overly impressed with the strength of the latch or with the strength of the strike plate on the door. Um, everything seems to go very easy, seems to operate really easy. I love the voice activation feature when it guides you through everything. You can disable voice so it doesn't tell you when it's locked and unlocked uh, and when it's audible by going through the menu system. But this is a great little lock. In our next video, I'm gonna talk about how to program this lock to the app, how to connect it to the app, how to turn it on so that it can sense when your door is open and closed. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith. If you like this video, please click the like button down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, Locksmith Recommended.